Yo ho ho and welcome to Three Moon Gaming. Today we're going to go ahead and go back in and we're going to build a catapult, an arrow catapult is what we're going to build. And I've already got one built sitting here. And again, that is out of the book. Minecraft or Mojang Minecraft Guide to Redstone. And it is really kind of interesting. When I built it the first time, it did not launch the arrows very far. It, it tended to launch them in a very short distance, not a very far distance, which is what it kind of indicated in the book that it would do, that it would launch it a good ways, and it did not. So I had to keep working with it, trying to figure out why it was not launching as far as it was. The book says to go up 18 blocks, and I went up 20 blocks. And when I went up 20 block, it started launching it quite a way. And um, I was very happy about that because it, it's really neat to have a launcher like that that will launch the arrows where they need to go. It's all about protecting your base. It's all about, you know, setting up the protection for your base. It will take a little bit of time to build. It's not going to be a real simple build. It's rather, um, I want to say it's a rather hard build. But it's not super hard. It's just that it's the type of build that definitely takes a few minutes to do. It's not a quick 5 minute build or 10 minute build or even 15 for that matter. It boils down to it's going to be more like about 20 or 25 minutes. Maybe a little longer. And I'm going to find that page here in a minute where I can tell you what page number it is in this book. If it's in this book. Maybe it's in the PvP mini games. No, I don't think it was in there. I'll find it by the end of the video and I'll give it to you. Okay, went ahead and found that. And it is actually in the book. Uh, Minecraft Medieval Fortress. Explosive build on page 68 and it is actually um, considered to be a three hour build but it shouldn't take no three hours to build this. The biggest thing is going to be just getting your groundwork laid out and getting everything set up so that it will build. And as you notice right here, I may be a little close on the side, but I don't think so. I think I'll be far enough off to the side that it won't matter. So what we're going to do is let's get rid of this water. We don't need water on this one. And we don't need sun on this one, but we need everything else here. We'll need this before we need that. Okay, so the first thing I want to do, the first thing I like to do is I like to build my vertical transmission, which is going to be here. So we're going to change this to here to here so that I can switch between them a little faster. There's a reason I'm going up to 20, and it's primarily because I want this turned off at the end of 20, which I'm nowhere near yet. Because <laughs> if this sets on like that, it'll continue to... It'll continue to dispense arrows, and we don't need that happening. And that should be about 20 right there. Yep. We go up by 20. And if you want to count with me, you can. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 16, 17, 18, 19, and 20. And then we're going to take this right here, and I'm going to have to build this as well. May as well build it now while I'm at it. If 
I'm in the right spot. Okay. And the beauty of this is when we build this, it's, it's not that hard to, to set up. It's just a matter of following the example sitting right next door to it. It said three hour build, ladies and gentlemen. And this isn't going to take us no three hours to build it. It's going to take us about 20 minutes, I, I'm guessing. And there's that, and then we leave that spot empty. And this one we will put a redstone comparator here. And the reason we put the comparator there is to determine when that's supposed to turn on. Okay. One, two, and then we'll go to one, two, three, four, if I'm not mistaken, to get to the middle. One, two, three, four, five. Five, and then we go one here, one here, and then two out. If I did it right, I did not do it right. I went one, two, take those out. Get our red to one, two, put that there, two, three, four, and five should be the middle. And we can compare by looking directly across from it here in a second. But if you look directly across, you should be in dead in line with it. Now we need the dispenser. And the dispenser will go like this. And there we go. That's where the arrows will dispense from. The arrows will come out of here and land on those there once we've got that ready to go. Now let's come back down here. Well, that way we have our vertical transmission set up. One, two, and then all of these. Repeaters are going to be set to four ticks all the way down and all the way around. So you're going to go seven. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, and one here. Six, I mean, sorry. Six and one, seven all together. We need to connect that to there. And then we need to bring this out of here, equal with this one right here. And then we'll form a simple ladder. I call it simple because all you're doing is doing this right here. Simple little staircase ladder. Not really a ladder, but it is a simple little setup. And all that does is bring it up to right there. And then we're going to come right down here. Take out the excess block so we don't really need it. And then we're going to go right over here. More dispensers. But they don't face down, if I remember correctly. Yeah, they do. They face inward. And if I've got this set up right, which I do not, I don't believe, three, I'm off somewhere. That's going to have to be fixed and modified as we go. Okay. Now, right down here, where 
there's going to be a block here. But we're going to put our piston and our a slime block. And we're going to place a orange wool block here. And we're going to put some redstone there. Oh, no, we're not going to put any redstone there. I don't need a redstone there. But we do need to come out of it with two repeaters going forward. One set to four, one set to one, if I remember correctly. Yep, going into a stone block, which I'm just going to use. Guess I'll go over here and get the stone block. right there so that it sets right there and then we're going to place two sticky pistons one on each side one there one there and then we're going to have a, a space in between here where we place a another repeater and then a sticky piston and then we get to go go put all of our and we build our contraption around that and yes I am off by far you don't want them touching because they'll mess up the whole Thing. And as you see, primarily, this is a finished build. Now, this right here, the bedrock that's sitting here, was not in the book. I put that there because I noticed that there was a problem with the build. And the problem that I noticed with the build was that the build kept, these would go up so high and sometimes it would drop down low enough it would destroy all of this and a couple of these. And if you're in the middle of a battle, you don't need to be building or rebuilding your, your entire structures or part of your structures because it just didn't work right, you know. So far we're looking at about 15 minutes here. So, not doing too terribly bad here. Go down here to the, this, steal one of these. Go over here, hit on this. load them all down just like I would if I were going to battle or gearing up for battle now the only thing missing now is a button and we have the button see how that dropped down not supposed to drop down like that. It's supposed to stay up higher. And instead, it dropped down. It did not do anything that it was supposed to do. And it blew itself up. One of the downfalls of building the, the arrow catapult is that sometimes it doesn't work right. And you spend a lot of time working on this thing. 
what we'll do is because it did not damage this one it did hit it a little bit and we'll launch it from this one but as you saw that's how you build it That missing, it won't launch arrows. Watch. There's the arrows. And they went way out there. When I first built it, the book says go to 18 high. I go to 20 high because it'll send them out a little bit further each time. So, there you go. Sorry the first one blew up but that's the nature of building these things is sometimes they just explode again thank you for joining me here on three moons gaming my name is mr three moons you can join me anytime here you can also look me up on facebook and twitter i do have a twitter account so if you want to look me up there you can look me up there so just have a wonderful day and again thank you for watching the video and like the video bye bye